very, very good deck, I suppose. I would like to play first. This hand, we have no plays, but we have things that I like. I, we're going to keep it, at least. Um, I, It's definitely questionable, because we have no plays. Like, if he is very aggressive, we're, we're going to get punished. But we do have ways, even if he is really aggressive. Like, I don't know if I mentioned this, but at Innistrad pre-release... Um, this thing was pretty insane against, uh, turn one, Stronger Noble, so, uh, yeah, that's nice. Doesn't look like he's actually here right now. Oh, yeah, he is. Probably just deciding whether to mull or not, and, uh, let's get started. Um, yeah, might as well play that. Like, <clears throat> no one drop? I was gonna say something like Cloistered Youth sucks here. Obviously next turn, not this turn. But something like Cloistered Youth, Claustrophobia is just insane against because it just starts draining him for life as it sits there. Okay, more lands. That's not really what we wanted to see. But he hasn't had any plays yet. I'm actually kind of sort of hoping for a Cloistered Youth, I guess you could say. Uh... Ooh, white-black. That's always an interesting one. That color combination is getting... Much, much better with the uh, with the release of Dark Ascension as well. Action. It's action of a sort. Not action we can or want to use right now, unfortunately. But I also don't mind just taking one for a while. <laughs> and uh, neither of the removal we have in hand really kills anything. So, um... And this is, this is pseudo-removal. Like... Ooh... Yeah, that's probably something needs to get claustrophobia Um... Yeah. There's... Like... We don't have a lot of humans in our deck that we can just kind of fight around it, like... I like the idea of keeping his tapper tapped. We don't have any creatures yet. Our other play was a creature. They would shut down Mob for now, so it'll be nice to have that next turn. Like, and we, and we still have answers to some early drops here. It's, did he miss a land drop? I guess he must have. Or, no, we're on the play, I believe. We're on the play. Yes, we are on the play. So he hasn't missed the land drop yet. Um, clearly mewling over his options here. I mean, like, Stitcher's Apprentice is coming down next turn. Well, Evil Twin could come down, depending on what he drops. I don't know of too, too many four drops that I need to urgently copy at the moment, but they certainly exist. Uh, Blazing Torch, no. Although, that does kind of suck against Stitcher's Apprentice. Okay. Uh, I'm Grieving Horde is not something clear. Like, I'd love for a way to us, for us to play this and not have it summoning six so we could just sack it to itself. Unfortunately, I don't really see a way of playing around it. Like, the torch is going to get used at some point. I guess I suppose I'd rather be this guy than, like, someone super wanted. It would, it, and given another turn, we could actually save, like, just about any creature from torch. Or, or pseudo save, at least, with uh, making them tutus, unfortunately. Unless he forgets. If he forgets, <laughs> that'd be stellar. Or if he decides to save his torch. Either way, he knows he can't attack, so, yeah. Okay. I knew that was coming. Now what does he have? Who? Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely a candidate for evil twinmanship. In fact, we're gonna do just that. Um, you. And then we can kill his noble on our next turn. Sounds swell. And we have sensory deprivation still. Be nice to draw one of our scarier things, because this, this is more of a long game thing. <clears throat> like, I copied it, mostly because A, we want a creature out there, and B, it deals with his dude fairly well. Because Falconroth Noble is, there are many things that you actually don't want to kill, but you definitely want to kill this. It has a very strong passive effect. Um, so yeah, being able to get rid of that with our nobles, not our noble, our evil twin, evil, tw evil noble. Yeah, we're not going to block. Okay. I mean, I don't really see the point in blocking when we're going to kill it. 
and we could not lose our guy. Mana Gargoyle, that's a good one. Um, yeah, we're going to play him. No use to you. No sense in using sem sensory deprivation at the moment. Or, no, maybe we shouldn't. Would I rather... Well, no, we can play him because... Um, we have the mana to make him flying to stop this guy. So... I don't, um, I don't mind not being able to evil twin him off this turn. We can wait till next. Because this guy, this guy shuts down offenses and he'll allow us to go on the offense really well <coughs> at some point. Um, what does he have? Killing our, oh, we can't even do that in response now. Alright, so that was a bad play on my part. Um, yeah. Them's the breaks, I suppose. Um, put mine on stack. You, nothing happens in regards to life totals. So yeah, that was, that kind of sucked. Uh, that, I guess that was me getting greedy. I don't know. And of course, there's the one mana we would have needed to, uh, use his ability. Um, I think we're gonna deprivate Slayer. I don't really want to play any of our dudes, um... Yeah, might as well deprivate Slayer. I mean, we're not doing much else. Uh, we kind of need our mana gargoyle on defense at the moment, unfortunately. So I'm not going to going to attack. Uh, if I can, I suppose I could drop Ghoul Razor. I feel like I'm gonna want Ghoul Razor a bit later if this does go long, like I'm kind of expecting it to. Um. Okay. I mean, well, no, there's nothing we can do about that. No, I wish we even attacked. Hello. Obviously, hindsight is twenty twenty. So, <laughs> yeah, this game doesn't look too good for us. I mean, like, he's not dealing a ton of damage per turn, but we definitely need to draw something like actually fairly strong to um to really do anything. So now I'm definitely glad I sensory deprivated that though, because that just saved us three damage, which is not insignificant when you're gonna beat down pretty hard. Uh. Do I actually even want to use that? Maybe I just drop Ghoul Razor as a 2-2 two -two to stop his unruly mob. Like, we could Claustrophobia the Falconroth Noble, but, um, I don't know. I don't really see the point. I'd rather wait to see if he drops anything scarier, like, obviously if the 2-2 two -two fly becomes a serious issue, but 13 life is still enough that, um, we can kind of slow roll this until we really need it. Yep. And we can also go on the offensive with Ghoul Razor. Or, well, I guess no, we kind of need to block and really mob. Never mind. Whoa. Yeah, we're going to have to claustrophobia one of them. Oh my god, Evil Twin would have been so good. Yeah, jeez. Um, yeah, one of them going to have to get claustrophobia. Guess the one that's currently untapped. I mean, this 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 here be some serious beatdown. Do not be mistaken. Um... Unbreathing Horde. Uh, we, we could have attacked, but then he'd just be getting in for another one. And, like, taking another one here is actually kind of bad. Like, we're that far behind in any any kind of race. Oh, my God. I f well, okay, our Evil Twin is dying anyways, but at least we would have been able to get rid of one of his nobles if I hadn't gone for the Gargle. Does that help us? Well, I guess what we can do is Unbreathing Horde and that. Is Unbreathing Horde is a 1-1. One, one. Like, that's not great, <laughs> but, um, it allows us to start doing things with endless ranks, which I would, I'd rather have one really mediocre card and one active card than two dead cards in my hand. Okay, maybe he's reading it. That doesn't see, uh... I suppose it does he play. I don't think you see it making to the finals of a 4-3-2-2 too much. Although I could be wrong. I personally have... don't think I've ever played against this card at, like, a, uh... And had it been very good against me. It's been working pretty well for us, though, I think. Um, we are on a fairly quick clock, unfortunately. And killing his creatures, unfortunately, also makes his mob bigger. Which is not good for us. Uh, he, he needs to, he has four cards in hand, I, I can't think that he has a dead hand, like, 
he has a dead hand that is a serious dead hand, he must have something, yep. More flyers, terrible for us. The sad state of things at current is I don't even know how much blood gift even helps us. Like it's one of our only flyers, I think. But um Fuck. Okay. Would I rather just attack? I think I'm Yeah, uh well, I don't know. He could just bullshit it. Um and like rebuke it or something like we don't really need the ground blocker. At the moment, the third one. But um I don't know. This is this is not good where we are. Oh, he is making it a five five. Okay. That's really interesting. Okay. Which case we're gonna block with unbreathing horde, I think. Yeah. It's the it's the weakest of the zombies. It's only one one and we're still getting a zombie. So uh oh, and we're just getting drained for a ton though. That sucks. Yeah. That's pretty rough, but it's not like we could take five there. I think we just lose. Spec <laughs> uh, this is kind of a loss. I mean Okay. Concede. We'll see him in the next game. Cyborn, I don't think we really have anything that helps us. Oh, Ghost Court is something we definitely should have sided in against. Um I just considered Mod my Ghost Court is something we definitely wanted to have against Kessel Wolfren. Durr. Uh what do we want here? Alter's Reap seems kinda good against Bonds of Faith, so we'll get that and we'll take out do we see my oh we definitely saw flyers, what am I saying? Um Fence Snake seems kinda bad against him. Although I am loath to lose a zombie, I think Fence Snake needs to go. Uh, actually no, let's let's leave um where's Fence Snake? Let's take out Ghoul Collar's chan. I'm pretty sure that's the last guy I put in. It's nice with all of the zombies, but I don't have like a ton ton of zombies. Alright, I'll see you guys in game two. Game two against 